Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. All right, guys. Today I have a quick tip for you guys, and it involves the Bixby button. Now, as you know, on the Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, and Note 8, there should be a Bixby button right here. And basically, what Samsung has done in its latest update is to actually give you the ability to disable this button. Um, now, by default, if you were to hit the Bixby button, what would happen is that um, Bixby Home would launch, right? And of course, if you press and hold the assistant would appear all right so i'm just going to close this out now those are the normal behaviors and the problem that most users are having is that if they touch the bixby button sometimes when they're going for the volume down button or so on they'll mistakenly press the button only to launch um, bixby home so what samsung has done in the latest update is to actually give you the ability to disable the functionality of the button all right now the first thing you want to do guys is you want to make sure to get the update that you are connected to the internet and what you're going to do is that you're going to go down and you're going to go to um, um, galaxy apps when you're in galaxy apps you're going to tap galaxy apps you're going to check for updates there should be an update for bixby home and you're going to update bixby home to the latest version all right so once you update bixby home you're going to actually go down or go again into bixby home and if you see up here you're going to see this icon that looks like a gear icon in the upper right of the screen with a B to the center, so you're going to click that icon. And of course, this new option is going to appear that says Bixby key. And this basically says that open Bixby home when you press the Bixby key. And then you're going to tap and toggle the option off. And what that's going to do is you're going to disable the functionality of the button. So now when I press the button, such as when I press it um, by mistake, such as when I press the button by mistake, as you're seeing, I'm pressing and nothing is happening. All right. So in case you're always doing that, by pressing the button by mistake you can now disable it now don't be fooled all this does basically is just disable the one tap to actually launch home you can go ahead again and turn it back on if you want but if you long press the button it still launches the assistant all right so basically what samsung has done is not to give you the ability to totally disable the button but however to prevent accidental um clicks all right and of course, as usual, they don't really want you to be remapping the button, although there are ways to remap the button. However, Samsung doesn't want you to totally remap the button, so they are making it more convenient to actually disable one of the functionalities with um, accidental clicks. So guys, if you think this tip was useful, please give us a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment below and share your views. This is Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips with another quick tech tip.